Hey, it's Mrs. Grissom again. This video is going to show you how to find things in the nonfiction section. Nonfiction is numbered differently than fiction. Fiction is alphabetized by author's last name. Nonfiction has numbers instead of letters. They are broken down between 0 and 999, and each group of 100 means a different thing. Let me show you. Here we go. Okay, starting with the zeros, this is where the generality books go. I have all the Guinness World Records um, and Ripley's Believe It or Not. There's also like UFOs and things like that right in there. So if you like that extraterrestrial stuff, you might check in that section. Okay, then we're moving on to the 100s. This is psychology and philosophy things right in here. I have a very, very small section in there. Okay, moving on to the 200s, those are religions. So I have a few religion books, um, some Bibles down here. Okay, and moving on to the 300s, the 300s include folk tales, fairy tales. I have a ton of those if you're ever wanting to look into fairy tales, Mother Goose, some old things like that. Okay, now the 400 section down here, there's my 400s. It's a very small section too. This is languages. I have a few books in Spanish. If you want to learn a few basic Spanish words, I think I have a French book down there too. This is all about languages in that section. Now the 500s, you can't see my sign. That's a 500 there. The 500s is my biggest section in nonfiction. This includes science, math, animals, things like that. So there's a lot of science books up here at the beginning of the 500s. Um, a lot of things on space and the universe. And moving down, we have weather and oceans, um, dinosaurs, lots and lots of dinosaur books down there. And this is where we get into ecosystems, lots and lots of animal books in the 500s. Continue on this side. So these are all 500s. Now the 600 section, this is technology, um, how the human body works. Um, this has different kinds of vehicles, boats and trains. I know there are lots of train fans in this school. There's aircraft, motorcycles, things like that. There, farming. We also have cooking. The cookbooks are also in this section. They're down there which by the way, we have a new cookbook, which I think looks really, really yummy. So if you like the cookbooks, please check that one out. Okay, moving on to the 700s, which is a very popular section. This is where there are lots of sports and arts. So there's some music in here, dancing, card tricks. There's a lot of craft stuff up here at the top. We still have a lot of how to draw books. But then we get into the sports section, lots of sports books in here. Um, football, basketball, tennis, a little bit of everything. Okay, and then we move into the 800s. And the 800s are literature, poetry. On this side, lots of poetry books. Where the sidewalk ends, all of Shel Silverstein's books are down there. And I'm going to go around to this other side because this is where the 800s are continued. And we have joke books in this section as well. So I have a tub here full of joke books. And then we come to the 900s, which is history, geography. If you like history, this is the section to look. Okay, all of these are history, Native Americans. I have books on every state. If you're interested in learning about a state, I have a whole section here, every state in the United States. And I'm gonna go ahead uh, biographies are at the end of my nonfiction section. If you want a biography, a book about a certain person, these are alphabetized by that person's last name. So if you want George Washington, you'll have to look down there in the W's. So hopefully that helps. This is my nonfiction section explained.